Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now, today I want to talk about how you shouldn't change anything in your app until your audience sees it. So I was having a conversation recently with somebody who was really struggling with a software project. So basically they had commissioned an app to be developed by an app developer and the project was taking too long and they started to lose confidence in whether or not that it would actually finish. Right? So basically they'd come to me first but I, we were just too busy. We just couldn't take on that project at the time. So I recommended somebody else and they were calling me back saying, you know, is there any way you can help? Is there any way you could take over this project? In fact, I've talked about this before. We get contacted about a lot of projects that people are they just they got tired of their app developers. They've lost confidence in them. They just you know, and they think you know, the project is 80% of the way done or 90% of the way done. Can you please finish it for us? And most of the time I say no because they really need to get it done with the developers that are, that are working on it. One of the things I told this person was it seems like most software projects that I've ever worked on, and I'm not talking about just ones that we've done. I'm talking about in investment banks. I'm talking about throughout my entire career. They all start with a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of momentum. We talk about the 80-20 rule where the 20, 80% of the software is written with the 20% of the first effort and then you get into the stage where you're fine tuning, you're bug fixing, you have little issues here and there, you're trying to, to, to eke everything out and you stop seeing a lot of the progress in the project because a lot of these things are not visual. You just want to get it done. Now the danger of that is that scope creep usually comes in in this stage, at least in my in my experience, this is where scope creep comes in because the client starts to get tired of the application. They start saying, well, you know, I think we need to add something else in there. I think we need to do something else. You know, I, I, you know this thing that I was thinking about before, I think it, it would be better if it did something else, right? Which is, which is normal, right? I, I, I know this because I've been in the same situation when I've commissioned apps, when I've had developers working on applications that take too long and act, you know, we get really excited in the beginning. We're like, oh, the users are going to love this, right? And then we get towards the end of the project. And it's almost like we're just tired of it. It's, it's taking too long. Like, we just need to get this thing live. We need to get this out the door. And you start thinking of new things to add to it, but you just need to get that one thing live. I had to remind this person that their app idea was still a really good app idea. They're, they're starting to second guess it because the project is taking too long, but the audience has never seen it, right? Their, their users haven't seen it. It hasn't hit the app store yet. So everybody else is going to have that same enthusiasm, that same excitement about it that you had at the beginning of the project, right? I always wonder if movies are like this. When they start off a movie, they write the script. I always wonder if the writers get tired of it by the end of it. Like, just get this thing out there, and then when it goes live, when it actually premieres, then everybody gets excited about it again. But it's a lot of hard work in between. See, I told you guys that I started going to these, uh, these Toastmaster meetings every, every other week. I go to this thing about public speaking because I'm trying to get better at speaking in public. I'm tired of people talking about how often I say you know and um and ah, so I'm trying to learn to get better. But one of the things in these speeches, so every, every three or four weeks is my turn to give a prepared speech and I will sit down and I'll write it out and I will rehearse it because of, of my nervousness. I would rehearse it so much that when I get to the end, I'm kind of tired of it. So when I'm writing the speech, I think, oh, this will be a funny little part. Oh, I'll put a little joke in there. I'll, I'll, this will be a nice little story. But by the time I've rehearsed it over and over and over again, I'm tired of it. I'm sick of the speech. Right? And I start thinking about, maybe I should change this. Maybe I should do that. But the thing is, the audience hasn't even heard it yet. You know, they're going to experience for the first time, the first time like when I was writing it, but because I've been through that so often. I mean, and this gets, when you're testing an application over and over and over and over again, just to make sure that you got all the bugs out, you got everything working right, you do, I mean, the shine is gone, right? When you have to remind yourself that your users haven't seen it, right? And it's the same thing with ASO and, you know, when people say, no one's downloading my app, I think I need to change something in the app. And it's like, no, 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 no. Your app idea is the same app idea you had at the beginning, the one you were really excited about, but your audience hasn't seen it yet. For whatever reason, you have a marketing problem. You need to get this in front of the right people because they may have that same excitement that you did at the beginning. And a lot of the times in project management, or at least you know, 
what I've experienced is that you get to this point where you have to remind them of the excitement they've had at the beginning and remind them that their users are going to experience that excitement when they see that application for the first time. They're going to experience it the way you saw, thought it would be at the beginning of this project, but for whatever reason the project's taking too long, right? This, I mean, my message today is don't change anything until your audience sees it. Before you go live, before you get in front of people, you don't have the proper feedback. And it's that second guessing yourself that you, if you add too much time to a project, that second guessing yourself is what causes all the problems. This is why early beta builds are good to get it out in front of people, to get everything out there and, you know, and not change anything until you do, right? Anyway, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.